let's say we would like to create a menu. So we have a list of uh, colors and we would like the users to be able to select one of the colors. So we'd like to, uh, to have a table uh, displayed on the console that says uh, a number and a color and another number and another co color. So people will be able to select one of the numbers, 0, 1, 2 or so, and then we'll be able to find which, num which uh, number uh, the user selected and what color does it belong to. So how do we do that? We have the list of colors here. We are assi assigning it to an array dot called add colors. And then we say print please select number. That's so far okay. Now we need to print out the colors. We need to print out a number and the corresponding color. But we, we have to remember, uh, be able to connect the number to a color. So the way to do that is that you're using the index of uh, the array, indexes in the array, to fetch the element, the rel relevant element. So we'll know that each index, which is a number, which uh, color does it correspond to. So what we do here is instead of uh, looping over all the elements of the array, we are looping over all the indexes. So we start with zero because the indexes in the array start from, from zero and then go until the highest index number. And this variable, the dollar, pound and name of an array is always there. If you define an array called at something, in this case at colors, Perl automatically provides you a variable called dollar, pound and the same name, colors. And this will always be the highest index. So because we have four elements here, and this is element 0, this is 1, 2 and 3. So you can see that we, if you count four elements, then the highest index is always one less. And this is the variable that contains that number. So this list, this is a list here, numbers from 0 to the highest el element, which is in case 3. And then we have a loop for each loop, so we print out dollar, uh, we go over, dollar i is always one of the numbers, then we print out dollar i. This parenthesis is just for uh, the beauty, okay? It has, doesn't have any syntactic meaning, so we just print out dollar i and then a closing parenthesis, and then we access the element in the i's place, and that's how you access elements in Perl. You write the name of the array, and then in uh, square brackets you put in an index. The index can, as uh, for example here, the index can be uh, just a number or any expression, in this case just a variable. And if this is zero then it Perl will fetch the first, the zeros element. If this is one then this element and so on. Now one thing that you have to note here that we changed uh, the access to the um, uh, array to dollar. Earlier we were talking about at colors and we mentioned that this is the sign of an array, the at mark, but then suddenly now we are talking here dollar colors. So why is that? So if you remember I mentioned that at is like plural and here we are accessing a single element. So we are using dollar because that is the, is the mark of the singular in Perl. So just remember, dollars are used when you're talking about a single element of an array, and at are is used when you have we are talking about multiple elements, when you're talking about all the array at, at once. So this way we'll loop over all the elements, print out dollar i, and then print out the um, actual value of the array at that point. Then we are waiting for the user to type in something. So we are reading from the standard input and write, assigning it to $num. We are chomping it off, we don't want the, the early training new line. And then we check whether the colors num is defined. So we would like to avoid a case when per someone comes in and types 5 and then we don't have 5 elements. So we check if the element in that place is defined. If it's not, in this case, then we'll print out bad selection and exit the, the script. If it is a defined value, then we assign the value from here, from the colors from the array, to the variable called dollar $color, and then later on print out uh, the, the name of the color. 